Okay, so Tommy come fake an airport B don Kesha. So Toshi air Archimedean spiral. Alright, so lay me and Kesh there do. So part B the image of the ocean on the right shows an aerial view of a group of humpback whales engaged in a technique called bubble net fishing. The whales start underneath the fish and entrap them by blowing a net of bubbles which move upwards in a conical Archimedean spiral as shown in the 3D graphic. So your 3D graphic is here. Figure C4B on the left shows the projections of an inverted cone. An Archimedean spiral moves clockwise from O to A in 1.5 revolutions as shown in plan. So what we have to do, what we're asked to do is draw the given plan of the spiral. Two portions of the Archimedean spiral helix are shown the elevation. Draw the complete elevation. Develop a part three, then develop a portion of the surface of the inverted cone to determine the true shape of the curve between points A and B. Okay, so when we look at it, this shows us what we have to put on. Okay, so it, this is the question. This is literally the answer, but we just need to find the answer. We need to know how to do it. They've shown some of it here to show us. They've given us guidance on which way they want it in the elevation as well. So that will help us when we get to the elevation part. And we know for the third part of the question, A and B is this section here of the cone. So we'll be using that part of the cone for part C. Okay. So our first job to do is to draw out our elevation and plan. We're given the dimensions in the question. Our next job then, so we've, we're going to have the spiral coming around. So like we do with any um cone or sphere we generally divide it up okay so we've 12 generators so it tells us in the question it tells us it's going in 1.5 revolutions from o to a so o all the way out it revolves out to a so it's 1.5 if we look at our question this is divided up in 12 so that is counted as one revolution so if we were to divide it up into 1.5 12 is 1, 6 is half, so it's going to be 18 in total. So we need to divide our generators up. We need to have, sorry, have 18 marks on our generators, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, go back to our first year graphics, bring out our line, and divide it up, okay? So we're dividing it up in 18, okay? So again, any distance, uh, 18 points on it, and join them back to our, our point okay all of them parallel then so we'll have 18 points okay now we're told in the question that we're going clockwise okay clockwise from o to a so we're going to go around this way okay so when we look at it sorry when we look at it again our first point is going to be in here okay so we're, we're literally bringing each point onto a separate generator each time so one down to the first two down to the second three and so on Okay, so just watch what we do here. Okay, so first one down onto the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on, eight, ninth, tenth, eleven, and twelve. We're going to run back around and we're coming the whole way around till we get to the edge here. Okay, so it's a separate point. On each generator okay so you're just with your compass you're starting at it at O you're bringing down the first point onto the first one second point onto the second third onto the third and so on if you draw it around like that you can't really get lost with it. so that's our plan view done that's that's it drawn okay now we need to move on to our elevation okay so we're going to project up all the generators so this is coming back to our uh, kind of our solids and contact questions that we did for section b okay so you need to understand that terminology and how it works as well so we're projecting up all our generators and finding them in our elevation okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to project up the points where they meet the generators onto the generators here okay so if we look at the first one we're projecting it up to our uh, our line here okay because that is the same as this line here okay second one onto the second generator just here and then the third one because this is straight what we have to do is we have to rotate it around so see this red line down here that's highlighted what we've done is we've rotated that around we're going to project that up to the side and we're going to bring it across so 
projecting it up to the side of our cone and we bring it into the center. Okay, so that's where our third point is going to be. And fourth point, project it up onto the generator, fifth onto the generator, sixth onto the outside, and so on. And we work that the whole way up. So it's the same the whole way up. You just need to note that on the center ones, you're going to be rotating them to the to the edge view first, to the side, and then bringing them in. Okay, so any ones here on the center line, that's what we're going to do. Okay. And there we have it. So that is our Archimedean spiral. Okay, now part three of the question asks us to develop a portion of the surface of the inverted cone to determine the true shape of the curve between A and B. So A and B is here and here. Now, to get the true shape, right, have we got the true length of the side of the cone? We do. So if we look at from O to A, that is a, a true view of the side. Okay, it's a true length as well. Okay, so we're going to mark that out. Okay, so we're going to mark it out here. That's that there. We're going to get our distances then from our plan. So from A, which is here, to the first one, the second one is going to be the same, and the third one is going to be the same. So we're going to mark out all those. So we have them marked out here on the right hand side. Okay, and we're projecting out our generators then. Next thing to do is to project the points to the edge view and then up to the edge here. Okay, so we can get the true distances because we can't get a true distance here or here. We need to get the true distance on the edge view where it gives us the true length. Okay, so we're projecting out. So if we look here, we're projecting out the first one second one and third one project them up to our elevation and where they hit the line that's our distance so we're going to mark off each of these distances separately on each of these lines okay and that's I'm going to just draw it in then and that's part uh, b part one two and three of b answered okay Hope you found it helpful. Any questions, please let me know.